Hello there engineers and welcome to this video for Prolt Geek. In today's video I'm going to be showing you this amazing new web UI extension for Automatic 11.11. Basically gives you a very similar experience to Mid Journey where you get a choice of images and you can tell Stayward Future which ones you like and which ones you don't and then it will iterate and generate more images based on your feedback. The plugin is called Fabric and it is now available over on GitHub for you to be able to install directly into Stay With Fusion Autoatic 11.11. So I'm going to just dive straight into it for you. The link is in the description down below. And all you have to do is head on down to the section for installation. You need to copy this command here. Then go to Stay With Fusion into the extensions tab. Then form from URL and Paste that in here. We then press install, and after a few moments, you'll get this notice here installed into Stable Diffusion. We then want to go back to installed, check for updates, and then apply and restart the UI. Now, if you end up getting a situation like this where you've done that and it's not shown up, then you need to close off Stable Diffusion and restart it. Once Stable Diffusion is reloaded, you'll notice down in the extensions panel that we now have Fabric V0 Win 3.5. This is where we get to like and dislike the images. So let's get this started. I'm going to use the Rev Animate and Checkpoint for this. I'll stick to Whaler for now, with summing steps at 20. We want to increase this batch size up to 4. We'll leave it at 512 by 512 because I very much doubt that my GPU will cope with anything larger. We'll pop in a prompt. So I just generated this prompt here and I find that if you keep the prompt quite open-ended, you'll probably get more use out of this extension because you'll have a bit more variety that you actually get to choose from. When you select your image, you'll notice that it pops up here in the extensions panel for fabric. And as you select through the different images, you'll get them appear here. And what you can do is you can now like and dislike the images. So let's have a look. I really like her costume, so I'm going to like that image. And I quite like this one too, so I'm going to like these. Now you can dislike the other images. And that will act almost like a negative prompt. And when you click them, they will appear here in the dislike tab and you'll see that the light ones appear here. With those ready, you don't need to change anything, but you can, if you want to, you can change when the feedback starts in your generation and where it ends, along with weights too. It is possible to enable this during high risks as well, so you can still get very high quality images using this extension. With those liked and disliked, let's just hit generate and see what happens. Amazing, look at that. So you can see here that it is generated the witch wearing the blue dress and hat, and it's done that in a city soon, which is very similar to the original one that I liked. You can, of course, iterate even further, so we could say that we don't like the one with the dog anymore. Maybe that's not what we want, say. We could come here and dislike this, but what we can also do is we can still change the prompt. So we'll just change it to good witch, and let's just say that actually we want her to have brown hair. And then we can generate again. And look at that result, how brilliant is that? We've got our witch in the city street, the colors and the design of the dress, all inspired by those likes and dislikes that we actually set using fabric. And, of course, she has brown hair now. It makes the whole experience of using Stable Diffusion on Automatic 11.11 even more similar to that of Midjourney. The ability to give Stable Diffusion feedback on the images you like and dislike gives you another tool for actually being able to iterate through your generations to get to that result that you really want. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel because I am working on this amazing lookbook propped guide for everyone, so that's in the works at the moment, and if you want to be one of the first people to get hold of it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel, then you'll know when it's being released. So I'll see you all in the next one, prompt engineers.